Hi everybody, so I'm really glad that I captured the video footage before my yoga class today because it made a world of difference. Uh, by the time I got into the class, the whole idea of rushing and the stuff that I dealt with with my daughter, um, just all of that, it just kind of melted away. One, because it was just so peaceful, and two, because I'm seeing that yin yoga is no joke. Holding these asanas is no joke. So there's two things that really resonated with me today. One was while we were holding one of our asanas, the instructor said that in, in yoga, especially, well, I guess especially in yin yoga, that the idea is for you to really be one with yourself and in touch with yourself as you're holding these stances and for you to give the feeling an adjective, you know, describe it. And, you know, she said, so does it burn? Does it hurt? Is it hot? Is it a dull feeling? And then is it okay? Are you okay with it? And what happened when she said those two things to me was I realized that one, I was in a, I was in an asana that was uncomfortable to me at first and mentally I wanted to quit. I did. But then when she said to give it an adjective, I was able to truly isolate where I was feeling things and I had to give it a name. I couldn't just call it all pain. I couldn't call it all inconvenient or I couldn't call it all, you know, annoying. I had to really identify. Just put it down, baby. I had to. Hold on. I had to identify. OK, my wrists are hurting. I'm feeling a burning sensation in my right thigh. Let me readjust. And so what happened is that you make an adjustment. You don't quit on the asana. You make the adjustment to get you to where you are okay with where you are. And that's why when she said, and are you okay with it? I was like, okay, this is, this is, really, this is really an interesting way of looking at things in general. How many things in life do you kind of generalize by saying that hurt that's painful I'm suffering I can't handle it and it's such a a, a a macro statement but if you were to really break down what the it was then maybe there's just a small adjustment that you need to make maybe it's not that you need to quit on it all maybe you just need to shift something so that was the first thing and then the second thing was that she said a big part of yin yoga is for you to achieve freedom. And then she said, but you're achieving freedom from yourself. So at first I said, well, actually, she said that to us yesterday. And then today it hit me as I was in the child's pose, which is my favorite position in yoga because you get to release, you know, you get relief from what you've been doing. As I was sitting there, I, I was saying, well, I was thinking freedom is hard. Freedom from yourself, yourself as a parent, as a, a spouse, as a student, as an employee, as a business owner, as a this, as a that. Freedom from yourself, that's really, really tough. One, because your mind is just racing, but also, at least in my case today, I realized that at one point in time, I wasn't thinking about being a mother. I wasn't thinking about being a wife. I wasn't thinking about my kids. I wasn't thinking about my husband. I wasn't thinking about bills. I wasn't thinking about what I wanted to eat. And, and as soon as I got into that space, I started to feel guilty. I started to say, you're a mom. You have to think about your kids right now. You're a wife. You need to be thinking about your husband. And then I, all this is happening in my head, which is why I love the yoga and the meditation. And then it was like, no, that's what she's talking about. You need freedom from yourself. Be in your primal state. Freedom from all of that. It's okay. So I just wanted to share that. I thought that that was just huge. And I think that that is a big part of it. She ended by saying that, you know, Yoga in general is is a way for you to what did she say to escape the mental let's just say madness she used a different word and to truly be in peace with self 
and I that that's why I think that it's so important that everybody really attempts to plug into some form of meditation and maybe even yoga because everybody needs to experience that because we all have this noise happening in our minds at all times unless we intentionally shut it off so um today's class was great and i'm looking forward to tomorrow so if you've been watching i appreciate it please feel free to leave comments share what you're doing and please subscribe all right talk please to you soon <laughs> namaste, namaste. <laughs> namaste. <laughs> bye